Well, here we are. I've uh, done the first major pass with the uh, with the pox on the uh, front of these uh, casing boards. My best, I did. I did my best to do a skim coat, but it's it's hard with that stuff. So, but you know, it's amazing how much better it looks right away. Just having no holes plugged up, even though wow, it's still pretty bumpy. And uh, I've sanded it down, not as, you know, insanely, just back to where it's kind of flat, because. I'm going to want to fill in some divots, and if I fill it, sand it too flat now, it's not going to be big enough for the wood epox to do it. So if I do it now, sand it down, then it might stick. You know, I want to have as few divots to fill in later as possible. <sighs> yeah, and there's always stuff I don't see, like up here. Obviously a nail needs to be driven further in. You know, the, the thing is, there's so many different colors and textures and angles that your eye just goes wacky after a while. And plus, the wood epoxy doesn't always do exactly what you want it to do. Because as you're working, it starts to stiffen. You know, as hard as, as reluctant as the liquid wood is at times to cure, the wood epoxy is always very eager. So, you know, that's an added dimension which gives me dementia. So, <clears throat> the issue now, you know, I'm gonna get up the front flat eventually with a lot of work, but the edges might be really difficult, especially at the very bottoms, at the either end of the dormer. <sighs> Stay tuned.